Hi, I want to show you a quick debugging tip in RDI, particularly around service entry points. Let me demonstrate this. I have a filter here, right here, and it's this particular filter is only filtering out one particular source member, ENC Debug M. That's the name of the RPG program. If I right click on that member name, and I'm going to come down here and click on Set Service Entry Point, just like that. RDI will respond, and it's basically asking me the next. It's asking me what program do you really want to debug now? Because I clicked on this program right here, it supplied the name right there. There it is, ENC Debug M. There's the library from the filter, and there's the user ID. This is the ID I used to log on to RDI with my connection. So when these three connections, uh, these three settings rather, are met and that program is run, the program will go into debug mode. I'll say OK, click on OK. RDI just responded by saying OK. It's now acknowledging that the entry point is now set successfully. I'll say OK over here. And as you can see on the bottom over here, the IBM I service entry point view is open here and there's the entry right there and just to review there's the library the member name and the user ID when those three conditions are in fact met the program will go into debug mode so I'm gonna bring up a green screen now because I want to show you a little bit of a difference here I am already in library encrypt you can see it right there so I will now call that program ENC debug M and this this program requires a parameter so I'll just pass the letter E, which happens to be the correct parameter. I'll click, I'll hit enter. And you can see what's happening in the background. I'm now going to minimize the green screen. And you can see that I'm now in debug mode automatically. And I can now press F6. I can step through the code. And I'm not going to go through the whole program, but I just wanted to demonstrate that the program did, in fact, go into debug mode. And there it is, ENC debug M. Now, there's a reason why I'm pointing this out. I'm going to now just press resume or press F8 and that will bring the program to completion. It just did. All right. I will close this and here now is the tip that I wanted to show you. This program is now a service entry point as you can see. There is a nice setting here. If I go to the uh, window preferences and type in the word debug and then come down here and click on IBM iDebug. The screen is already up as you can see it here. There is generally an unchecked box as one of the preferences and it says prompt when service entry point is encountered. I'm going to click that and say okay. Now what normally happens is when the program is called and those conditions are met, the debug perspective is brought up immediately. But now that I've checked that box, Watch what happens. I'll bring the green screen up again. Here's the green screen again. I'm going to type in the command again. Call ENC debug M. And there's the parameter. Hit OK or enter. And now what happened is, let me minimize the window here. So what happened on my desktop, I'm going to drag it over here. This window just popped up. And what it's saying now is that I encountered a service entry point has been encountered that I have basically, I've been monitoring the system. I'm checking the system for these three conditions and now it's just been met. There's the object name again, ENC debug, M, user ID, and library. So it's asking me now, do I in fact want to debug that program? If I say yes, it will go into normal debug session as I just showed you earlier. However, if I click on no, what just happened is the program did in fact run. It ran to completion because now there's the call that's missing, but I did not go into, into debug mode. Now, why that's important is the following. Maybe you want to have a list of service entry points always set up, ready on the go. Let's say perhaps it's a web service program that you're debugging and you're getting multiple calls. Perhaps you don't want to debug every single time it's called, you want to pick some random number for, for test for quality assurance purposes, for example, or any other reason. Now, certainly on that view, I can always just go and disable 
an entry point. Uh, I, and I can come here, right click and say dis temporarily disable this one. I can do that too, and that will have the same effect. But by having that preference prompting me every single time, it will, I will also know when the program is called, which might be very helpful. So that's the tip, controlling when to go into debug mode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And as always, I will see you again. Bye now.